Hey, many fish. The 9th of July, 2018. All kinds of things piling up here, you guys, that just continue to point to the times we're in. I mean, we are definitely on the final stretch of this world as we know it. I'm just telling you. But I wanted to show you a few things that really point to what's coming, okay? I saw this yesterday, and this just came out, actually, on the 7th of July. Armenian church displays significant relic amid tensions, okay? And we have these guys, Armenian church leaders, in their black hooded robes and double-headed eagle pendants. and So they're the crew that supposedly holds on to this significant relic, which is the Spear of Longinus. This is what they claim. Now, the Spear of Longinus is said to be the spear that pierced Jesus' side on the crucifix, and blood and water came out. That's important to remember that. Blood and water. And these guys just, it happens to happen now that this is brought into the public attention. The spear of destiny, the spear of Longinus, the spear that pierced him, okay? So this is brought into public view. And today, this morning, this comes into public view. Russia, Palmyra sculptures damaged by ISIS being reconstructed. Now, they don't give you any details because they never do. Just like these guys, don't give us any images of the spear or none of it. They just parrot it, cookie cut it all over. Same goes with this article. But they are reconstructing the Palmyra sculptures, which, of course, brings to memory this. This is the Palmyra Arch, the very same replica that was paraded all over the world, including New York City. Okay, When they placed this back in September of... 2016 this was the 20th that this article came out it was there for I believe a week if not at least a few days and it's important to note that where they situated this arch in New York at City Hall uh, faces directly beyond these buildings is ground zero and beyond that is the Statue of Liberty just saying this is where it was placed nearly two years ago. Okay, so this decides to come into the public eye again today for whatever reason, along with the Spear of Destiny that pierced his side. This is nuts, okay? So one of the first things that I was actually led to do with this, the Spear of Longinus, right? Longinus was to put it into the Gematria. It's just what came upon me to do so I did it and what do we get 666 in the six count 456 in the Jewish which is important 111 in the English now that's significant to me I know that this is giving us information giving us understanding of where we are okay it all comes back to Jesus everything comes back to Jesus and all of this is under the hand of God, okay? So you need to understand, everything I'm showing you is coming through that spirit and being revealed because that's the time we're in, where all things will be revealed. You know, Luke eight seventeen, Mark four twenty two. these are ones that, that I've actually, you know, somewhat remembered. Luke, let's just look at these things, I mean... It's, it's so worth looking into this stuff, you guys, okay? Nothing, for nothing in secret that shall not be made manifest, okay? Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad or to the light. Take heed, therefore, how ye hear, okay? You need to understand this stuff. 
Mark 4.22, that was another one that I was just uh, reading. Very, very interesting stuff, you guys. For there is nothing hid, which shall not be manifested. Neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. Same thing. And there's more. There's always more. But this is what's happening. These things are coming to light. Okay? The spear, the blood, Ron Wyatt, uh, all of these things. This will be a witness, just like it says in the Bible. Just had that verse open here a second ago. 1 John 5. Check this out. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. These three are one. There are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, because the Spirit is truth. Because the Spirit is truth. The Spirit and the water and the blood and these three agree in one the spirit the water and the blood these are the witnesses in earth okay if we receive the witness of men the witness of god is greater for this is the witness of god which he hath testified of his son his blood okay this is all coming to light. This is all going to happen, and probably in a very short period of time. So you need to be ready. I'm just telling you. So we have these things. And then yesterday, or not yesterday, the day before, I was showing you guys um, about this Mars volcano, the pit, New York, Statue of Liberty. This is all going to come to pass, you guys. It, it just really, there's no way around it at this point. <laughs> So this is coming to pass, but this led me directly to another one that was issued in this same week. See how that's March 20th? Well, this one was issued on March 17th, Friday of last year, March 17th. And it's called the Layered Deposits and the Ooze Boy Vallis. And I'm telling you, these are the things I'm led to do. And I had just had this up here not long ago. But I'll put it up here again. The Ooze Boy Vallis. Now check this out. I mean, this is crazy. Okay? 888 in the six count. And what this illustrates to me is the war. The spiritual war. 444, Jesus. 444, Lucifer. The war in heaven. Okay? 888 is Jesus on the cross, the gospel of Jesus. But 444 is Jesus alone. 444 is Lucifer alone. This is the spiritual war raging in all of us. Okay? All of us. See that? Jesus. 444. All right? So this is what I'm seeing in this article here, this image right here displays right down to the T of the locust from the pit, from the bottomless pit of Revelation 9. It's all right here. And I have to show it to you, but I got to get this software that I'm able to like show it and it messes up my computer, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it out there because it is absolutely amazing. And this is, again, this is just the Father in heaven to those who are truly and humbly seeking the truth are being given the eyes to see this where no secret will be hid. All will be revealed. You understand? I sincerely hope so because it's upon us. It is literally upon us, you guys. There is nothing hid. Nothing. That won't be revealed. And this is just the spirit of Lucifer manifest in these images, simply displaying what is coming, what he knows is coming. And it's all right here. And I can't wait to show it to you because it's just so unbelievable. But I have to wait till later till I get this all set up. So I'll leave links to this stuff because I'm telling you what, it's all coming to a head. This spiritual war is about to burst. 
into a neighborhood near you. It's just the way it is. So you need to be square with God. You need to be in tight with Jesus. You need to understand that he is the only savior, the only truth, the only way to life, real life, eternal life. You know this world is dark and wicked. Turn from it, repent of it, and realize that you need a savior. And the only way to understand this and know the truth is through him, Jesus Christ. I had to learn this the long, hard way. I searched all over. I did it all, folks, from masonry to yoga to you name it. And Jesus is it. He's it. This is all we got, folks. It's the word of God and the spirit that he graces us with. So seek that first and foremost and cleave to it. Weld yourself to it. Okay? So links in description for this stuff. Very interesting. And I will definitely get back to this ASAP. So y'all have a great day. Peace and grace. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 